Today's episode of Talk Spicy is brought to you by me, Mimosa's Flights. Catch your flight today with many flavorful flights such as the ILM Wilmington, the CLT Charlotte, and the ATL Atlanta. Catch yours today. Located at Front Street Market and Produce, 604 South Front Street, Wilmington, North Carolina. Located at Front Street Market and Produce, 604 South Front Street, Wilmington, North Carolina. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? What's good, y'all? What's happening, man? Welcome to Talk Spicy. Where we don't know how to talk nicely. I'm the lit one, Rich. And I am the groundbreaking Gladdy. Okay. What's good? <laughs> Today we got my brother in here, man. Yeah. A, a, a great brother, like. I say an icon for real, like. Oh snap! If you don't know him, you need to know him, like for real. Like he do a lot out here, like you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We got big gap. What's going on? You know what what's going on? <laughs> I thought you was gonna let me do my intro. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, uh -huh. That's Take what I call it. you. Tell him. Go yeah. ahead and tell him. Yeah, well, I'm him. Big gap. <laughs> big <Okay>. gap. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. Let's get straight into it. You know? All right. Um, I want to start off with. The business, the services you provide for the community, like the children and the things you do with that. And then we'll get into Gaddison LLC mm -hmm. afterwards. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the biggest thing is just being a resource. And uh, I just, when I graduated college, I decided to de dedicate my life to just be everything that I needed in school. Mm -hmm. So everything that I felt like I needed, that's what I try to do for these kids. I, I currently work at the Brigade Boys and Girls Club. I'm the team service director. So okay. I do workforce development as well as run the uh, the center for the teens. Yeah, that's hefty. That's yeah. For real. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about the brigade? Just because I didn't, I didn't know anything about that until because you stayed in fucking I, King's Grand. <laughs> First <laughs> of all, it was North Chain. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I really I'm completely clueless. So, so what is the brigade exactly? So I, I, you heard of the Community Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, the big thing is. Brigade was started off as the white club, and the community was the black club. So they basically do the same things, just on different sides of town. Okay. And one was for the white kids, and one for the black, which is crazy now. We still have that stigma, mm -hmm. but we we eighty five percent African American. Okay. But I feel like that's uh, due to the demographics. Like mm -hmm. you know, that's uh, the brigade is pretty much. Like off a of shipyard mm -hmm. in Longleaf. Okay. Like, um, right behind WCT. Like community is okay. in the heart of the north side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, like, little, it's a little more ratchet over there. But, mm -hmm. you know, the, the goal is to, you know, the goal is to take the kids from wherever you at. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And try to keep them out of the streets, you know. Definitely. And provide those services. So, I big, that's a big ups for that. Like, right. For real. And you say your brother works for the community boys and girls right. club. Do you all like collaborate? Anything? Absolutely, we try to collab as much as we can. We uh we recently just did a deal where actually they contracted the CEO at our spot. Mm -hmm. So basically, we we kind of under one umbrella. We just got the same management. Okay. So I mean, hopefully one day it'll be in the works, but it's nothing we could force because you know they have their essence and their legacy. You know they have so many great people that came out of there. The Metal Lot Lemons, the you know, uh, what's it, uh, Earl Jackson? It's mm -hmm. just so they they so rich in legacy. I don't really know too much about the brigade because I grew up in the community. Okay, but I I know they both got their own legacy and they want to keep it rich. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was it um like you said when you graduated? You know, you wanted to provide for the kids what wasn't provided. I said, or what mm -hmm. you was didn't reach the potential of being. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. Like was that the only inspiration? Nah, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times when you're in college, uh, the conversation is like, "Oh, those guys are crazy back home. They doing this." They you know, you have conversations with people from Wilmington that's in your crib. You like, "Oh, such and such just shot such and such," and it's just like you sitting back, like, "Man, how Damn. we gonna change this, man? Like, right. something got to something got to get here." Mm -hmm. And then um, the the straw that broke the camel's back. I had a friend, Terrell Phillips, that. Uh, he told me everything, sports, baseball. He was just like a big mentor to me when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and he got murdered. Damn. So you know, Here in Wilmington? Yeah, he got murdered here on the north side of town. He got murdered, and then I was just like, man, I'm going back to help my community out. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know, growing up here, it's basically you got to get from under this dark cloud. So you, you've been taught the way you get out of here is getting an education or becoming rich some kind of way. Yeah. So that was my thing. I'm, I'm gone. I'm going to live in Raleigh. I'm going to make some money. And then it's just like, it just kept calling me back. And yeah. then it was like a smack in the face because my mom's got lupus and my dad got cancer. And it was at the same time. So it was just like, Sheesh. I ain't got no other choice but to go back. And it's like, no matter how far I run from it, you coming back to Wilmington. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean. And then um, it worked full circle. My football coach in high school was actually working at a, a nonprofit called Communities and Schools. And he, he called me one day. He was like, hey, these kids need to hear your story. Yeah. Like, they need you. And he was like, come uh, He was like, come interview for the spot. I had a, a, a DUI charge. And um, I was going through the court case. And he's sitting at every one of my court cases in the back, just waiting for them to say guilty or not guilty so he'd give me the job. Right. So I ended up getting found out guilty. And... As soon as I walked out the courthouse, he had the letter and he made me sign it, and I started working that next Monday. Mm. That's what's yeah. up. Him, man. Yeah. Right, shout out to him. Yeah, we, need, we need more people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. For That's real. what make the world go round. Oh, absolutely, I, I owe him a lot. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Jinx. Um, did you have any hesitations into getting into kind of this line of work, like with the children? And I mean, naturally, uh, my degree was in business. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you can't make no money working with kids, but it's just like the payment is them succeeding. Yeah. So you, you're never going to make the amount of money you think you should make. Right. So it's just kind of, that was, that's probably my only hesitation. Is the money yeah. like, do I want to yeah. chase really this back yeah. or actually leave a mark on these kids' yeah. lives, which yeah. is, you know, priceless and it, really. And the first place they throw me in is uh, New Hanover High School. Mm-hmm. And I mind you, I'm probably about 24. So I ain't too far off their age, yeah. and it's just kind of like, oh, oh I got to put my foot down, or they're going to be thinking, like, they can just run over me and stuff like yeah. that. And then it's and it's funny because a lot of the kids going there are the same kids. Or the, it's just a repeat of the kids you grew up with. Like, oh, who your daddy? You act just like, I, I knew that was your daddy. I can tell that was your daddy. <laughs> you your you daddy's know, son. Yeah. Word, word. I can tell that's your daddy. For real. Yeah. Did you ever, um, well, do you consider that like a nine to five, what you do? Nah, man. Yeah. I, you, when you enjoy what you're doing, ain't yeah, a nine to yeah, five, man. Facts. I, I mean, when facts. I wake up in the morning, you know, I'm just like, man, I'm getting ready to go to work. You know, it, yeah. it ain't no, it ain't no big thing for me because it's like you sitting in there and I'm constantly planning. Like right now, I'm trying to build a studio. You come out there, show the kids something if you want. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm trying to, be, I'm building a studio right now. I'm building the box. I already got all the equipment and just building this, the box for them to be able to record in. I definitely want to teach, not really teach, but you know, give out some game on yeah. sh- constructing um, bars, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, let you know, oh, this is eight bars, how to count the measures, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just give people that that little bit. Because that, that little, shout out to my homeboy, Arson, too. I don't know if y'all know Arson. We're going to get him on the show, too. But um, that's who, I always knew what to say, but I just used to write pages full of the shit. Like, just keep writing. Right. And bro was like, yo, this is 16. Writing essays. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> like, that's why, I, if you watch my old battles, I just rap and rap yeah, and rap because yeah, yeah. I got so many bars, but he like, yo, this is 16, this is 24, most songs is this, you feel me? There's Hook, a format to it, yeah, which a so, lot of people don't know. So I, I, right, so I do want to. We saying it here, you heard it. Mm-hmm. I got you. This one here. I got you. Start, <laughs> this one right here. Yep, we there. starting a class. <laughs> Glass gonna be teaching the class to the kids on how to construct bars. Yep, I got it's you. It's on record, babe. Because I, hey, I'm like, uh, I'm like Coach K. That's what I take myself. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like I'm more like, <clears throat> I, like you said, you want your thing is you want to see them succeed. Like yeah. I, like I like when. I could see something I had hands on yeah. be greater than me. Like, damn, like, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. you know, I took it, I just took it personal. When I first stepped in Hanover, it was kind of like a lot of the gang members and stuff like that, they kind of moved into the side. So I was just like, I'm gonna get all these gang members across the stage. That was that was my goal. Like yeah. as soon as I stepped, all of them going across the stage. Mm-hmm. My first one, Shiz. Yeah. Hey. My guy. You know what I'm saying? Shout that's out to Shiz, that's my guy right there. Man, he sent me a message one time. He was just like, "Bro, you the only reason why I came to school." But he's smart. Yeah, he can do it. That's how I be. It just <laughs> most of them yeah, are. For real. They, just, they just don't have that push. Yeah. yeah, like you was that push. Like, yeah. nah, bro, come on, bro. Yeah, I did everything. Yeah, Listen, we sitting here. We are gonna roll dice. Yeah, after I beat you, you <laughs> gonna class. do this work. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, or you know, him. People he loved the music. That. We, I put the instrumental on. I was like, bro, I'm better than you. Like, we're right right now. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you with this. 
Then you go do your work, yeah. and, and that's how it always work. He was there, he did it. He showed up every day. He did what he had to do. He walked across the stage. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's necessary. Absolutely, yeah. you to need someone like to, yeah. you can relate to. Going to yeah. school and just hearing something from somebody that you like. Why am I listening to you? Like you're mm-hmm. nothing like me, but yeah. you know, yeah. so that's inspiring for sure. And you really don't care about me. <laughs> that was that was, that was <laughs> my thing in school. Like yeah, like yeah. You, I understand. Okay, yeah, I see what's on the chalkboard, but you don't even care. Like I really ain't here to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so crazy. You don't know how many stories I've heard about like how smart you are. I'm all right. Nah, nah, out of I, I done heard it. Like <laughs> it was like, man, this man supposed to be going to Howard on a full scholarship. Shit, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, the Clarks love you. Uh, oh yeah, he loves you, bro. That's he my just, guy, right? Yeah, now. he talks you up all the time. So guy. I used to, I used to slide him my papers. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and cheat, bro. Go yeah. Ahead. So when I first got back, they was the first person to really give me a job. So I was sitting there working, and then like um. You know, I'll be doing helping the kids with homework and stuff and like math and stuff. I'm real good. I don't need no calculator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he'd be like, man, you smart, man. You remind me of somebody. And he used to always talk about you. He like, yeah, yeah he look that's up my, to you. That's yeah. my guy. Are y'all yeah. the same age? Y'all, you and he a little I'm, older than me, I think. No, I'm, I'm, I just turned 34, so I might be a couple months. Yeah, a couple yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be 34 in September. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still young, baby. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. five. Yeah, do uh, yeah, I graduated oh five. Yeah. yeah, the um, do the Clarks still own the brigade? No, the Clarks actually own the mustard seed. Okay. Yeah, they have their own, their own nonprofit that they started, the mustard seed. Okay. And it's legacy. Everybody that they had, they babies, babies coming there, yeah. they babies, babies coming there. They're gonna be in business forever. Yeah. They got. A, is it like a gym and all of that? Yes, yeah, it's just everything. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl Clark, that was like, because you know, where I'm, where I'm from, like, I really didn't see white people. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm from North New Jersey, in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> but when I moved here, they it was a new high school being built, Ashley High. And where I stayed at, that's, I guess that's the region I was going to that school. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I'm taking advanced classes, so I'm the only black person in these classes. Mm-hmm. Like, what in the hell? But this this white dude is really like a black person yeah, to yeah. me. Like yeah, yeah, he one of them. Like yeah. he got that soul. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's, it, that's my guy. Like yo, dip yeah. set. He gonna make you laugh, bro. All that's day it. he just silly fella, cool, ain't on nothing. But yeah, yeah, I I, I like that though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the Clarks, man. They're good people. Oh yeah, definitely. Right. What was um, what was a couple of key steps that you had to take to start like? I mean, first thing is, you know, you have to go to get your education. And then um, how I kind of like, um, I guess, made myself relevant, just people I know staying connected with the community, just like, if you're going to sit there and talk, I'm going to go do the work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's how it always been. Like, I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, let's, we're going to strategically do this. And that. No, no. I'm about to go knock on their door and mm-hmm. tell them, like, yo, your kid need to be in school. Mm-hmm. And and that was the biggest thing. That's just how we made our name for ourselves. And it's just like you get so entrenched with the kids because, like I said, I know your daddy. Yeah. I know your grandpa. Your your daddy used to coach me, or your or your dad used to help me with this. Like I owe him that, so I'm gonna get you where you need to be. Uh, <clears throat> did you really run down on somebody before and be like, "Hey, you supposed to be in school?" Yes. For you did that like all the time. <laughs> yes. I couldn't imagine. Yes. I would be scared as child. The class. Yeah. Somebody from school showed up yes. on my doorstep. I'm telling you, I would, I would, I would come to school. And, and I coach girls basketball too. Mm-hmm. So if one of my players not doing what they supposed to do, I'm, I'm at your house. Like I'm pulling up. I call your mom. I'm on the way to go get them. Tell them that they need to be ready in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So that I mean, that's, that's just how we built. My brother did the work too. That's how we built it. Yeah. So it was just like um, even uh, said. Yeah. When he came back and he had this vision and stuff like that, I was like, bro, I got you right now. We put him in all the rooms he needed to be in. And he blew up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like. With that one guy waiting outside of that courtroom for me, I've been able to do so much. That's why I was like, every time he, I, I call him, be like, bro, just thank you. You know, sometimes I just text him, like, bro, thank you. I thank you for everything. Because mm-hmm. without him, I wouldn't have been in nobody's room. I wouldn't have gotten to meet half the people I have gotten to meet. Mm-hmm. Like, we in a, um, a meeting the other day with Novant. And it's, I'm in here with Novant. Right. Like, it's just, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. It's just, it's, it's, it's bone chilling sometimes. You know what I'm right. saying? And then it's like, so much pressure, you know, it's like, I can't drop the ball. You know, mm-hmm. I can't drop the ball. These, everybody need it. Like well, it, seems, it seems to be easy for you, because like you said, it's something you love doing. Yeah. So I don't think, I don't think you're going to drop the ball. Nah, I don't plan on it. Yeah. Yeah. Keep scoring, bro. <laughs> yeah. Keep scoring. Yeah. Would you, would you have done anything differently? Like, um, prior to starting it off, like? Just, um, 
I I think I would have like uh, branded myself more and just made it so like they got to come see me. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times I just did the work for people. They took the credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, if I could have cornered the market and like, you know, you need to come see Rashad Gaddis and like, you know, Mm -hmm. not this person or this person. Like, you need to come see me. I would have did that. Yeah. Um, So I know you have another business, right? Yeah. Me and my wife, we clean. We have a a cleaning company that we do. Okay. Yeah. We clean uh, some properties down in Myrtle Beach. That's Gaddis and LLC. Gaddis and LLC. Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all plan on having like expanding and having like employee, employees? I don't, and, I don't know, man. I just you know we got a we got a fourteen year old boy, so oh yeah, maybe maybe him. We'll see what happens. Got to put him to work. Yeah. What he got about a year before he can technically work? No, oh, he, yeah. he's starting this yeah. year. Like okay. I said, I do the workforce development every day, so okay. I'm in the know with all these places that hiring kids. I'm mm-hmm. just push them out there. Go get some yeah. money. Do right. kids still have to get a worker's permit, like, at a certain age? Wait, well, when you go through the brigade, our program, you don't. But, okay. yeah, at 14, 15, you got to get a worker's permit so you can work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I remember having to get one of those. Me too. Mm-hmm. I was working at Food Line. I was at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Me? It was actually lit, though. Yeah. yeah I, looking <laughs> back, yeah, yes. Actually, it was lit but as a child. But at the time, I hated having to go. Like, after yeah. school, I'm like, no, I want to be ratchet with food. my friends. I had one fast food job. <laughs> yeah. I worked at Burger King right there beside Laney. Mm-hmm. I worked there for three hours. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Lady told Be me chaos. to wash some um, dishes. Yeah. I said, I don't wash my dishes at home. You crazy? <laughs> she told me to take the trash out. I took the trash out and got Kept my car and left. Yeah, I did this. Hey, bro, I know you're not capping because I literally did the same type shit. Like, the lady asked me, and this at Burger King, the lady asked me, um, Hey, can you uh, take those? You no, know, can you do something with those boxes? Like, they don't want them in the middle of the floor type yeah, shit. So yeah. I move all the boxes out. And while I'm doing that, she telling me, now nah, can you go to the freezer and get out a, a box of fries and yeah. whatever? So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. feel me? I just get my hoodie, and put my hat on, go clock out. So I just keep walking. <laughs> <on. laughs> Not I got you, Italy. Got you, like. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm looking at other people just standing around. Like, why you keep talking to me? Yeah. Bro? Like, let me do my job. They sent me a forty-five dollar check. Yeah, I, I take it. I take it. I take it. I, I, ain't take even cash it. It. I do it in the trash. <laughs> I ain't what? Cash it. what? I'm yeah. taking. I need that's that. Take a gas. Yeah. 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 I mean, Stim me that. I was so. I was. So, <laughs> Stim me that. <laughs> yeah. I was so mad, man. I was just like, I can't believe this. Because, like you said, it was a lot of people standing around. They not doing nothing. You just think you are gonna have me? Yeah, yeah bro. I wasn't feeling that at all. So I just left. I was pissed, boy. Like, uh, yeah. I'm like, all y'all owe me on Friday anyway. Stupid. <laughs> 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 That's funny. So, do you have anyone in particular that was like the inspiration, or do, is it a, is it a handful of people that inspired you? I, mean, I heard you mention a few names. But. Nah, yeah, a lot of people inspired me. I, I first I say, my dad, me and my brother grew up in the same house, but my dad raised us completely different. I was the kid that if I want to do it, I'm gonna do it. Like I take the whipping. Yeah. So instead of whipping <laughs> me. Yeah. He started like making me read books and yeah. you know do like uh, book reports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it was just kind of like oh. so. My thing was Malcolm X. That was always my go to. My go to, and I was just like, yo, this man got so much power. Then you watch the movie and he and everybody marching that way. I'm like, oh yeah, this guy got power. So mm-hmm. then I'm just like, now I'm now I want to be a Garveyite. Now I'm looking at Marcus Garvey. So it was just I did so much stuff on these Black History guys. Then I just like. I need power. Like I need to be. You want to be one something. of those guys. Yeah, those I need to be running history. something. I need to be the person that's yeah. moving my especially my the race right forward. Direction. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, when I got home, of course, it, the same ones: Big B, um, mm-hmm. Hollis, uh, Hollis Briggs, uh, Mario Jeter. It's it's a couple of guys that just been pouring into me. Like even anything, I just I text Big B like, man, this was going on. You like. All right, bro, that's how you move around this. You know, it just, I got so many mentors that I can't mention them all, but I say, you know, my father and those guys, yeah, they definitely helped me out. That's that's gangster. Yeah. So I know you said, you know, you don't feel like you're going to work and you kind of, even outside of work hours, you just put your everything into the mm-hmm. kids. Um, has doing that kind of affected, like, any aspect of your personal life? You know, the, fun, you know, the funny thing is, like, my wife is in the same line of business. My wife works mm-hmm. at the high school. Mm-hmm. So, which one? Um, New Hanover. Okay. She works at New Hanover. We uh-huh. worked there together for like two years. Okay. Yeah, it was whack. That, yeah. that ain't how y'all met, is it? No, no, no. Okay, we actually, 
I mean, I knew her from back in the day, high school and stuff, but we like restarted talking and um, I was coaching the team at the issue center. She walked through and I was like, oh, I'm getting it this time. I ain't let <laughs> back this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting it this time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, my mom, we wanted to get my dad some uh, shoes for uh, Christmas. And she was working at JCPenney. That was a little part-time job. And we walked down. My mom was like, "You gonna let her? I ain't never seen you let a pretty girl pass you by. You ain't gonna give her your number or nothing." I was like, "Mom, you right." So I walked back in and gave her my number and stuff. And then you know we started kicking it from there. Now you got twenty kids. It's twenty hey. kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, what was the? I oh, what. I said um, yes, does it affect life. your personal life? No, it doesn't. No. I mean, at first it did because I think that uh, she didn't understand my passion. But as she got into the high school and she started seeing what I saw and mm -hmm. we were able to talk about it, like we shared the same everything. Like, yeah. you know, we outside, we at the mall or something, the kid come up. It's like, it's, it's no problem with us to take 20 minutes to talk to him. Right. Because she understands. Y'all are on the same yeah. mission at this point. Yeah. That's, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. We got to have y'all uh, back on for like the couple's the one. Yeah, the marriage right, one. Yeah. 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 It's spicy now. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I watched it before. Said, yeah. 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 I don't think so. Like, like, I, I'm going like, to let you have that one right but, now. Yeah. Right along. Hey, hey, shouts out to your wife too. Because yeah. I, I hit bro like, yo, what you think about this date? And he like, yo, bro, you trying to get me killed. Bro. Day, <laughs> I'm like, bro. Like, it only be a little Look, bit of time. Look, she probably like wants to be alone. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Nah, nah. You know what? I just I loaded up Friday, Saturday. I went hard, and then I was just like, "She gonna let me get this out." Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. It's all it's all for the greater cause. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. She, I mean, and and that's what I love about her. She respect that. You know, she she knows that she has to share me. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like it's not just solely. Her, mm -hmm. she shares me with the world, and I, and I have to appreciate that for that. Cause it's, I'm constantly gone, like never home, cause yeah. I'm always doing something. If I ain't coaching, I ain't working. You know, it's just I'm doing something. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she just, I mean, she always, she my backbone. She makes sure the house good, the kids taken care of, and yeah. you know, lit. I, yeah, that's yeah. lit. What's your next goal for um for either business? I mean, I'm trying to be a CEO somewhere, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to let my well, you don't, you tired of niggas dancing in your videos. Yeah, yeah. Come on yeah. over to Death, death Row. row. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to yeah. Death Row, man. You got to sit LLC. Yeah. What yeah. you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. I'm trying to be a CEO somewhere, I man. Feel you. Like, definitely. I, I'm definitely, I want to embark my visions. Like, you know, everybody got what they feel like they should be doing for the kids, but like, they're not, they not out there. Yeah. You know, I, you can catch me somewhere any, any, any time of the day. Like, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. They not out there, so they don't see what the kids like, what they need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, we talk about we talk about resources, and I, and it's just it's crazy to even talk about resources because there's so much resources out there. I think the kids got too much resources. That's why they can't focus in on nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why you see them like um, once they get to a certain age, forget school. You know yeah. why? Because they got school right here. They Anything mm -hmm. they want to know, they got it right here. Yeah. Right. So I think I sometimes I think it's too much resource, too much because it's like I think it's like a thousand nonprofits in Wilmington. We ain't that big. It's a yeah. whole bunch of nonprofits in Wilmington right. trying to help kids. Right. So I, sometimes I just think it's too much. We just need to all come together and just make something strong. Make it big. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. For real, that that'd be super detrimental. To mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like for real, just lock in and give kids different outlets. Like Absolutely. I was I was just having a conversation with um. Our homegirl Kiana, um, Kiana Williams. Yeah, I know Kiana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, but uh, I was telling her like, yo, I w I would want like Talk Spicy to bring back the Teen Summit. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That'd be dope. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. we work out who's gonna be on the panels and mm -hmm. what, 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 what. But at least have that. But have like people that are relatable mm -hmm. to to the you know. That's gonna talk spicy. Yeah, you mm -hmm. feel yeah. me. Like, we don't just want you here because it's something good to do. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, bro, t tell these kids what it is. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, be quite frank. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what, that's what what this work is. Like, they, like, dance around the issues. Like, yeah. I'll be like, yo, if you stop smoking so much weed, you probably could do your damn work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, don't come to school high. Like, yeah. let's try that for one day and see yeah. how it works. Yeah. Oh, it works. 
duh, stupid. I Your know. brain's a little clear, <laughs> less yeah. foggy, you less know. tired. Yes. You got you got all day to smoke after this shit. Yeah, yeah. but then yeah. then you got the ones that smoke and that make them focus. So it's like you know what, what you tell them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't no, know. now if you if you handling your work, yeah, I can't yeah. tell you. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Keep so, up, keep it up. That ain't my, <laughs> smoke that ain't my business. <laughs> that ain't my business. But get it done. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Right. Get right. it done. Cause time after time, I've been around a few few children. Um, you know, I've did a lot of mentoring. Like, do the step daddy. Do the step. <laughs> definitely, definitely was doing the step daddy. You, you feel me? But mental, like trying because you in my house for one, so I want yeah. you to be righteous, you know. Right. But you just got you got some of those. Like mm-hmm. it don't it don't dawn on them until it's like almost too late. Yeah, you mm-hmm. feel me? But you, life is like that at times. Yeah. Sometimes you got to experience certain shit to tighten you up. Mm-hmm. You True. feel me? So that's part of the lesson I be trying to dish out. Yeah, and I see that's what I I try to tell them like, bro, we I done seen people that live that. I done lived that, like, this is where it's going to lead you. I, yeah. I done lived it, so you don't have, what whole say, you know, you don't have to go through that. You don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you listen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Live, so yeah. I try to keep them from that, but yeah. some people just got to see if that, that stove got is to. hot. They just got to see. You got to. Yeah. I, I, I told you, hot, hot. <laughs> yeah. I told yeah. you. Now go on in there and put the mustard on it. <laughs> you feel me? Well, in a perfect world, if uh, like money wasn't an issue, like what would you put together for the community? Like, if you just have free range to do whatever you wanted to do for the kids, right. what would you do? No, you don't have to sign an NDA once I say this. <laughs> 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 nah, you know, I, I would love, just with the sports background and the school and stuff, I would love to open a 24-hour facility sort of like a group home, but it's just geared towards athletes. Mm-hmm. So you're able to get the training, you're able to get the tutoring, just so you can just be an athlete, student athlete, and you just go off to college and be a dog. Cause right. you, this is what you live eating and you know, this is what you're doing. Yeah. So that's why I would, I would love to do that. And like I, the, uh, that fire department, um, the fire department on a uh, princess place, the abandoned one. Mm-hmm. I would love that. Like all the rooms or in the there. Kmart. Yeah. Like, yeah. They want <laughs> They want one point three, yeah, <laughs> and the dicks. One point three, the yeah. dicks across mm-hmm. the street. Yeah, I've been, all, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about all that. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, if, if, I ain't gonna keep giving out this game. We gotta just make it happen. Yeah. Like it. For real, you know we all saying? put our. That's what we all put our money together. Definitely, we can that's make easy. It won't hurt as much. Yeah. Like yeah. it won't hurt as much. Exactly. And then you could definitely make something back. Like mm-hmm. you're gonna like. It's just a different le- it's mm-hmm. a different level once you do that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, people are scared to take leaps of faith, I guess. You know, we know so many athletes, we know so many smart people. It's just like we could just be giving them game twenty four mm-hmm. hours a clock around, around, yeah. around. Mm-hmm. And then they're getting training from I mean, Jay Ross is here. Mm-hmm. He done made it to the mountaintop. Like he can show you how to get there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? BB's here. You got Derek Brunson. Derek Brunson's here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. We got so many dogs here. We can show them how to get to the mountaintop. That ass. What was that show we were watching on Netflix about the basketball players and uh Last Chance U? Yep. Last Chance University. Oh yeah. yeah. I love that yeah. show. Yeah. You that saying shit. that made me think of that. And yeah. if they would have had something like that before they got off to college, mm-hmm. I feel like that kind of would have you know, yeah. put them ahead of the game Catapult instead of them kind of still struggling yeah. as, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. that was a junior college. Like, all of them, most of them dudes that we was that's on that show, mm-hmm. they was really, like, almost NBA ready. Yeah. And then got into whatever they got yeah. into. Then they had to go to this college, so they wasn't as big as, you know. Yeah. Like and if they thing. had that structure that you're kind of talking yeah. about, yeah, you know, yeah. that... That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, that's I perfect. like that coach too on that. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was, was tough. Yeah. Ooh, and I that's the big. Tear. That's the big. That's the. That's how I try to be as a coach. Like I ain't about to be sitting there making you do something that yeah. I can't do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I love when he got out there. He be playing D. Yeah, on yeah. I was like, yo, this dude crazy, yo. Yeah, he cheated on one time though. Yeah, yeah. That half court shot. shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I got nah, you on bro. Thursday. Yeah, I got you on Thursday. Bro, run that. It was a suicide. Sides, right? But you had to do it in like what twenty seconds or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. That was cheating, but yeah, something like that. I mm-hmm. I could go for that. Mm-hmm. And I'm That's with a great that. idea for sure. Like for I don't I don't commit to too many people asking me to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, you just committed. So that's good. what I'm saying. Yeah. If, you, if you got if you got me to commit, then yeah. that's what it is. Because that I I told myself 
after I quit Burger King. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really only want to do what I want to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, period. Yeah. In life. Right. I really want to, I like making music. I want to make music. You feel me? I like performing. I want to perform. I want to battle. I want to battle. Mm -hmm. I want to go shopping. I want to go shopping. Yeah. I want to sleep today. I want to sleep today. Like, that's just really what I be trying to do. Like, yeah. So, you Definitely. know, and teaching, teaching them kids how to, you know, format. That's yeah. what they need. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's so much. Kids have so much talent, man. You'd be they surprised, do. man. It's so do. much talent in that brigade. One girl drew a picture. We had a Black History Month contest. She drew a picture with the I Have a Dream speech and made Martin Luther King's face. That's crazy. Well, yeah. I have, yeah, I'm going to have to, yeah, I had to show you one day. <laughs> I had to send it to you. Like, I was looking like, nah, you ain't just do that. Like, there's no way. She yeah. did that, man. It That's was crazy. It was amazing. Yeah, we need some of them on here, too. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Some of them geniuses, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tap into that. Right. You know, in your, in your opinion, what you think keeps, like, the kids... Like attached to you, you know, like running up to you in the mall, like you say, and yeah. see you here, like. Cause I'm just as wild as they are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I be, you know, most of the time you see me, I be chilling, but yeah. I mean, I be, I'm wild too. Like, I'm, you know, whatever they thinking and stuff like that, or it might be a case of somebody coming in and talking crazy. I be like, your mama? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, and then we be like, yeah, man, your daddy was a punk too, you know? I, I talk junk to him, but then it's like, they know, like, I ain't, I, I'm, you know, I'm joking with you, but then, when it comes to something like advocating for them, like a teacher not giving them the grades or a teacher made a deal with them if they did this and they're not holding up. Like, I'm going hard. I'm, I'm not going to teach. Like, nah, you, this is what you said. I was mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen. So they know that I'm going to jump in their ass, but I got their back too. Yeah. That's so cool. I think that's what keep them coming back. That's, that's dope. Nice. Yeah. You, what? Ever, Go ahead. Ever, you ever thought about being a principal? No. <laughs> no. I'm done with school, man. Right. I'm yeah. done with school. I can't do no more school, man. Why? That, just, I, that's what Kiana said, that too. Shit, yeah, she Kiana's done yeah. with That shit must be thing. rough. No, I'm just, I don't know. No, I'm talking about as far as going to get my credentials oh. to be it. I'm done with school, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's been so long, man. I can't do it no more. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You but, probably um, going there, ace all that shit. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be real so. with you. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, nah, it's just, I, I could. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably, I'm probably like four classes away from having my master's. Yeah. I just don't want to do it no more. It yeah. just and there's not really a need, yeah. right? For as far as for what you're doing, there's yeah. not a need. There's not a need. Yeah. yeah. And I and I I don't want to be a principal either. I don't want to be sitting in the meetings all day. Like yeah. I want to be able to say the the good thing about my jobs was I was working for a nonprofit inside of a school. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't no nothing they can do that could stop me. Like it was no tape. Like I ducked the tape. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I, if I want to go off campus and walk to a kid house. Mm -hmm. Over the cat, like I could do that. Yeah, it wasn't no no board and and governing me. Like I could do what I wanted to do. Yeah, and that was a good thing. So if y'all get into that system, they're gonna be telling me what to do now. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. true. Do you have like a crazy story of like an an interaction or experience that you had with a kid, whether it be good and it like turned out amazing, or it was like real bad and you was like, I can't help you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh one of my kids got into it with uh, another kid. Mm -hmm. So he smacks him, mm -hmm. and then he smacks the girlfriend. So the girlfriend calls her big brother. He comes up to the school. So now it's like this chaos. big rift, great chaos. So I'm able to stop it there. Then it, it gets to the conversation of, well, meet me on the 13th. I'm going to shoot you. Oh, damn. So now I'm like, and he trying to go. So I was like, all right. So... We walk in the 13th. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to make sure, you know, whatever's whatever. And the funny thing, as soon as I hit the bottom stairs of the other side of the catwalk, mm -hmm. I think my brother got a sixth sense or something. Bro, we, what's up? Where you at? And I was like, no, nah, I'm walking. He he there before I am. He done took the car. He pulled up there before. So we just sat there with this kid. And, like, they drove by. Like, they was talking junk. They was going to fight and shoot and stuff like that. And I just tried to squash it right then. But that was probably crazy. Like, I was calm. Mm -hmm. But in the inside, I was just like, Bro, I'm walking this dude down here. I'm probably gonna get shot. With I was about him. to say you, know you were saying? literally <laughs> in the line of fire, yeah, like yeah. willingly volunteered. That's, dedication. That's yeah. crazy. But, but he was, he was just somebody that needed that loyalty. Like he needed somebody that he knew was always gonna have his back. And and I, I got his back. Yeah. It was stupid. But I got his back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. For real. That's the crazy. Sheesh. 
for real. Little homie, man, you gotta walk on. Go on, get that. You gotta go nah, I, I stayed. I stayed on a thirteenth. Uh, what, what is that? Is that that's not Doc? Is it with a barbershop and all? Yeah, that's that? Doc. Yeah. Okay, I stayed on like thirteenth and Doc, uh, and. Shit, them kids used to be lit when yeah. they get out of school. Oh, yeah. Like, every day, they getting it in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, this is out of control, bro. Like, y'all yeah. really do need to cut this out, bro. Like, y'all going to see each other for years. Yeah. Like, y'all freshmen. Y'all going to go to this school for the next three years after this, and y'all going to keep fighting the same people over and Like, what is y'all doing? True. Like, for real, give it up. Bro. Yeah, it'd be, it be pointless. And then a lot of times, they be fighting over the... The most trivial stuff, but yeah. when we was that age, that probably meant a lot to us, though. So mm -hmm. I just don't. I just you know. I, I, I think, was trying to think like because I really didn't get into a lot of fights. I wasn't playing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? yeah. Yeah. But you know, my you you know my mom yeah. crazy, so yeah. I had Whoa, yeah. Pause. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk spicy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, I yeah, didn't talk shit. You know, yeah. I, yeah, you know, yeah, I talk yeah. crazy to people, so right. you know, I had my few battles, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You damn sure try to talk shit to me on the court. <laughs> I be like, bro, I'm nice, bro. Yeah. Me nah, up. nah. I, when I remember when I caught you at the Y, yeah. I was like, we gonna see if he gonna fold. So you came down, I fouled you hard. I tried, I tried to foul you hard. Yeah. I fouled you, and you was just kind of like. Hey, bro, don't find me like that again. And then you started playing hard. I was like, okay, I like this dude. Yeah. Like, we good now. Because, you know, you take a, you take a man's soul when you hit him hard enough. You know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm turning up on you. But listen, <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't getting paid for this shit. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't hurt me. If you shake me, yeah. you got me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You got me. Feel me? <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, I don't... I don't I ain't going to foul nobody. Yeah. You feel me? I try not to anyway. Not deliberately. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. Yeah, that's why I don't play in the, um, what's that? We was at one time. It was the A Street Center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, center. I don't like that place. <laughs> I don't like that place. It's too much arguing. Yeah. It's, it's just play the game, bro. Relax. Yeah. It's too yeah. much testosterone just through the roof in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what you coming here for. You putting on your sneakers to come play ball. And y'all gonna argue over every call. Every call. I can't do it, bro. I'm gonna holler at y'all. And they'll be cheating on the score. Yeah, giving I'm themselves two or three points. Right. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I can't I can't handle stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I really be getting mad sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, man. I enjoy it. I just I enjoy being around the people. I yeah. enjoy hearing them talk and you just yeah. know they not like that. It's just like, oh, you a clown, you know. Yeah. I just enjoy that stuff. Yeah, I just don't like slowing the game up. Yeah. Like, we could talk shit, but check ball while you're talking shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what Y'all I... really holding up the game. Like, you really walking around with the ball while you mm -hmm. trying to argue. Yeah. Bro, check rock. Yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> Multi-task. <Yeah. laughs> Shoot for it. Get it over with. Bro, we've been here for four hours. I'm fat as hell. I'm tired. I'm ready to go get some more Gatorade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, Tell the people about your uh, where they can find you. Like, all your social media, all your platform, and how they can get in in touch with you for getting and getting the kids yeah. into your program. All right, yeah. so you know, if you need to reach me about programming, it's definitely uh you can call the brigade, nine one zero three nine two zero seven four seven. Extension one oh six, you got me. Um on plat social media platform, my name is Rashad Gaddison. Rashad Boom Gaddison mm -hmm. on Facebook, uh Coach R Gaddison on Instagram and uh Coach R Gaddison on uh on Twitter. Yeah. Look them up, find them, yeah. get your kids in there, y'all. Get your kids in these programs. <laughs> Word. It's a they lot. ain't doing it's shit but lot. playing Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. That's all they do. You know what I'm saying? And we got Fortnite at the brigade. So yeah, bring them to the There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we're going to feed them and all. Like, bring them. That's what's right. up. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you nice. for having me. You, thank you. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah, it's an honor. For real. Facts. Uh, like, subscribe, share, talk spicy TV. Push the fucking button. <laughs> Still nasty, classy and nasty. Yeah, you know the deal, and they still live. Throwing hundred dollar bills, and they still live.